Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. Today, we're doing a review of episode 4 of Bubuki Bronki. Yay, and um, I think I feel like I'm just going to address this right now because you've probably already noticed, but I got bangs and they look really stupid right now because I like just got them cut so they haven't been styled the way I usually do. But let's try not to focus on them too much even though they're right there. Also, another point I want to make is I realized that I have a lot of new subscribers and I just wanted to say hello to you all. And because you might not know, I do have a Twitter account which I use to keep everyone updated on when I'm filming videos, if I'm far behind on filming videos, when my videos are coming out. So if you're a new subscriber, first off, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. That is so wonderful of you. And second off, follow my Twitter if you feel like it because... If you want to keep up to date with me, that's a good way to do it. So, thank you again for subscribing and all that, but yeah, thank you. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So in this episode, we left off where the last episode ended, and we see Kokane fighting with, what's his name? Matobai is the purple guy's name. So we see them continuing their little fight, and it's really aggressive, and I'm like, yes, Kokane, yes. But yeah, it turns out that they begin to have a bubuki battle, which is when two bubuki users, like the same type of users, engage in this battle that they have to fight and no one else is allowed to interfere. So like in this situation, it was Matobai and Kogane and they're both right hand users of Ente and Obu. So no one else could interfere, which kind of really sucked. And what happened was the group led by Horino was like, oh, we have to get out of here, like we have to make it to the Baronki nest, like let's go, Kogane can fight for herself. So then they end up going to this like train thing which apparently leads them to the Baronki nest. And it, it hasn't been used for like years or whatever but it's supposed to be able to take them there and then Azuma, good guy Azuma was like I can't leave her behind. And Higari was like, oh we can't leave her the but ended up they figured it out, Azuma goes back to save her. But yeah, when you're doing this bubuki battle duel thingamajig, if you like win, you take their bubuki or they stop using it or it doesn't, it, you can't use it anymore or something like that. Like at the end, spoiler alert, Matobai was no longer able to use his bubuki because Kokenai ended up winning. So that's how it works. Oh my gosh though, guys. Kogane is going crazy, like she is pissed off. And then we see huh, the most adorable and sad flashbacks to when she was a kid and it turns out that her father and Matabai had previously done these Buuki battle things and it was never really finished and Matabai came to finish the job and it turns out at this point Kogane's father had already given Kogane the Buuki so he no longer had it to fight. And of course, as we see, he ends up dying, and that's why Kogane is so angry and mad at Matobai. Oh, and Kogane is not doing that well. Like, I was really expecting her slash hoping for her to like beast it out and completely destroy him, but I guess not yet. And Azuma has to end up coming in to save the day. But it was weird because like she was on the ground and she was pretty much like almost dead. And Matobai actually hesitated and he was gonna shoot her but then he shot Bridie and I'm like oh, I see there's guilt you do have some feelings but Azuma saved both of them anyways. We also learned that Rinzu is like the source of a Bubuki user's power and you only have so much of it so like in that situation when Azuma went to save them he acted as a shield but he could only do so for so long because his Rinzu ran out. But anyways after the little battle thing the gang come to the rescue and they were riding the train and it was in stealth mode and pretty much ran over Matobai but he was like holding it off he's like Ugh. and I'm like how is this even possible but he ends up getting away they end up getting away or so we thought and then suddenly crazy dude we're gonna take a moment to pause about this crazy dude crazy dude with the glasses at the beginning of the episode we see him visiting his sensei and he also mentions something about the sensei and how he likes one of the girls, I'm assuming, that are in the group or something. That sounds weird when I say it, but you'll understand if you watch it. But anyways, crazy dude comes, obviously, because this seems to be what's going on. He starts a boo-boo battle with 
Kinoa, and she does not seem very happy about it. She also seems to know him, so I wonder what's gonna happen next. The show, I really enjoy it because like there's lots of action, but then there's also like some backstory and some emotional feels as well. So you're like into the story because you're like you want to know the different stories of the different characters. But there's not too much backstory that makes it boring, and there's just enough action that makes it like exciting. And I don't know, guys, I really like the show. It's also just I like the characters. Kogane, <laughs> love her. I also love. Booboo keys and like the different booboo keys for the different users because you guys know how I feel about like specialized weapons. I love that idea, but yeah, I love it. I love it. And I, I guess, um, Righty actually changed when he became Kogane's booboo key, so like they do change from master user to user. So I found that really cool. Overall, guys, this episode was cool, awesome. I still really enjoyed this show. I liked how we got to see more of Kogane's backstory, mostly because she's like my favorite character so far. I also like how we see Azuma really, yeah, he's such a good guy. Also Higari, he's becoming more likable in the sense he's not as obnoxious I guess anymore, or obnoxious in a bad way, but we see the group kind of coming together a little bit more. Like they were gonna abandon Kogane, but Azuma's like, no, 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 we can't. So we see his actual leadership, not Higuri's leadership, but his leadership role, bringing them together a little bit more. We're also meeting one of the four gods. We met Matobai already, but we're meeting Crazy Guy, like, actually, so I'm excited to see what's up with him. But yeah, guys, I really enjoyed the show so far, so gonna keep watching. I hope you guys liked my review, and I hope I didn't touch my hair too much because it's so badly done right now. It looks so stupid, but hope you liked my review. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me when you guys do that. So thank you guys so much. I make a bunch of videos a week, and bye!